I'm Nicky Hamros. My uh, I have my own gym, Hamros Gym. I'm the trainer of guys like Philip Felinde, Errol Zimmerman, Sami Bukidus, Marat Gregorian, Robin Verus Mal is also here. Um, yeah, I'm just the coach. <laughs> Um, what I expect and how the training went with Errol Zimmerman, um, we came off a bad injury against the last fight with Rico Verhoeven. He made a spinning back kick, kick and ripped off his muscle, the muscle that holds his kneecap. So it was a bad injury. We had a recovery for like seven or eight months. And we did some, we started working easy without kicks because yeah, his muscle ripped. So it was a little bit in his head that the leg is not good, but it went okay. And now we trained for like two months, just doing a little bit kicks and punches. So now it started to go good and we'll see in the fight. I think he's ready. Karapet is uh, always training. He had uh, some uh, private things the last year. That's why he didn't fight. Um, he got married and some other things. So now he's been training for two or three months also again. So the team is coming back. And yeah, Karapet needs the training because he wants to feel right in his head. And yeah, I think it's going to be a nice fight against Kongoro. Michael Jurk, I think he's going to be a surprise for many people. Because he had some fights in Holland like three or four years ago. They were okay, but he was still young. He has been training very hard. He is a very good technical fighter, very strong. It's a nice tournament. He has a tough opponent. I think this, will be a, this whole tournament will be a surprise, I think. Um, the reason why this event in Amsterdam is important for all of kickboxing and especially Holland is because Holland is a little bit separate to, Thai to, to Thailand, the mother country of this sport, I think. Um, I think some Dutch fighters and trainers made the sport big and we didn't have it in Holland anymore. So I'm very happy that, it's, that it is in Holland now and I think if this one goes good, it's a good example for the other organizations to show everybody how it can be done and that not everybody that sits in this hall is crazy or something. Um, I don't want to say Amsterdam is the capital, but <laughs> no, yeah, because Amsterdam is the, is the main city of Holland and it's the biggest city. And I think it's for the tourism and for the people from other countries, Amsterdam is the biggest city in Holland. So, but not all the fighters come from Amsterdam. So <laughs> my guys come from Breda, <laughs> the best city in Holland. Uh, what song is you talking about? <laughs> well, my brother is uh, Ramon Deckers. Well, I think everybody that knows something about kickboxing knows my brother because in my eyes he's the best kickboxer of all time. Um, so yeah, I think he, he and some other fighters are the reason that it's still here now kickboxing and it's being broadcasted all over the world because when he was fighting it was just in Thailand and nobody saw shit about your fight. So now, um, yeah, I think these are the guys that made it big and um, I'm happy that a lot of fighters still respect my brother and speak about him, name him as their favorite fighter and I think he deserves that. And yeah, he and my father are two pioneers in the sport. Well, in glory, there's a tournament, a contender tournament. It's a four-man tournament, and um, the winner, uh, the winner of the tournament, gets a chance to fight the champion. But for me, uh, the bigger prize of the tournament is the Ramon Deckers Trophy. It's a trophy to honor my brother, and because he was the best fighter, and the winner gets um, a replica um, cup from his real cup, and they get a. Um, how do you call it? A paper with what says what what happened that day when he won the tournament or the, that fight. So I think it's really nice that they um, still remember him by giving a tournament on the biggest platform of kickboxing nowadays. I think he really deserves it, and he would be happy about it. And f for uh, for example, Errol, his biggest victory in his life after 120 fights was the cup from Ramon, his former trainer, his friend. So I think for a lot of fighters, this is a really, really big thing. When he won that trophy backstage, it was very emotional because Errol is in our family for like yeah, 15 years and me and my family are very close with each other. I saw my brothers every day, my father, everybody. So yeah, we were very, very happy about it. But I still had another world title fight after, so I had to be focused, but it was, yeah, all emotions came out in the ring. 
you would also see it if you watch it. After the fight, it was in the ring. We were very emotional and happy, sad. Um, yeah, it, you cannot describe it, but we were very, very happy. It had to be like this. My brother was with us that day. He knocked him out both, so it was good. Mm, I think the sport in Netherlands could use a little bit of a boost, and I think this event is going to give it to them. Because on this event, there are like seven fights where normally um, only one fight would be in an event and it would be the main fight. So we have like seven or it's always with glory, but now it's in Holland. So I think it's very good. And this event is going to take it back to the level where it was with doing events, of course. Yeah, I think the image is getting better because of the fighters, of course, because of uh, Rico, Holskin, uh, Errol, uh, you name them, all the normal guys. And I think also the, um, the brand glory and the way how they do events is better than it was before because it's no VIP tables and it's all um, nice and clean. Everything is good arranged and I think there can hardly be no trouble at an event like this, you know. So I think it's a very good example and it's going to be better after this one. Um, well, I'm from Breda. It's a small town in the south of Holland. Um, I think Breda is famous in the sport of kickboxing because it produced the best kickboxer, Ramon, and one of the best coaches, my father, Cor Hammers. And a lot of good guys trained in our gym and all came from Breda. And yeah, I don't know. Breda is a small town, but it's it's also for tur tourists going to come more now. And I don't know. It was always back in the days, Breda, Amsterdam. There was some competition there. So it's not, it's positive competition. So I think, yeah, it's good. It's a nice town. So... Come visit. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. There's a, there always has been the competition with the north and south. And Breda is, of course, the south and Amsterdam is the north. And they both produce good fighters. So, but it's it's positive. It's good, uh, how do you say? Um, yeah, competition. It's good, comp positive competition.